Today I would like to talk about the simulation of the cache. So this is a direct map cache and I'm using the ntu.edu.sg simulator. So for our project we have a we have a cache size of 16 memory I assume a memory size of two two hundred and fifty six and offset bit is two so it's around four 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 bytes of the size. So this is the how we in we initiate so that way we will get a four bit tag a two bit index and then a two bit offset. So from the start we first so we are giving this string of characters. So we are given this string of characters, and then so this will be our initial cache table. First, we will load one. Okay, the instruction will convert. So all of these numbers are already in hex. So the instruction will first convert it to. A binary representation so it's a zero zero zero, zero one <coughs> and then the index will search for the index bit <coughs> which is zero so it will refer to the zero then it will check the valid bit is a zero also because nothing has been accessed yet and now it will try to compare the tab bit and also the tab bit and then because valid bit is zero so confirm it will be a miss so this is called a compulsory miss so then it will load the tag into this one and then it will update the valid bit then from the tag and then the index it will copy the block block zero word zero to three so that is zero one two three in the from the memory block Next, we will do with the 4 and then so you can see it will do the same thing it will check again convert the numbers to binary so we get 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. so now it will look at the index of 0, 1 and then look for the index 0, 1 and then check the valid bit 0 so that we will know it's a, also a compulsory miss and then it will load uh, index 0 and then with this one the, which is referred to block 1 and copy all the words and put inside the, the cache next we will load 8 and then the, you do the same thing you check convert the binary and it checks for the index the valid bit the compulsory miss ok now we we'll try to load 5 when we log 5, we see that uh, it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, next, it will check. Okay, it will refer to the 0, 1 index. And then, it will check the valid bit 1. Okay. And then, it will try to compare the tag. The, the tag of the instruction. And then, the tag in the cache table to see, to compare if it's the same or not. So, for our case, we compare it's the same so it's a hit so we call this a cache hit so you update the block but then it's the same block anyways because it's inside the next we'll check for 14 so hex 14 and then we'll see it checks this one the zero one and then valid bit one and then it checks for the tag number but the tag here in the cache table in the cache is zero 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 but then in the instruction is zero 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 one so they try to compare and then it the tag is actually not the same so it will be a miss it will be called a cache miss so this will force it to try to 
replace the the old tape so it will become 0001 and then load the corresponding block into into the cache so then afterwards you will see the same thing so a miss here then it loads here so you update if it's a miss and if it's a hit then it will not change the tag if it if the tag is if the tag is missed then you will change the tag so now i'll fast forward through the whole numbers okay so now we reach the end of our instruction and this will be the final the final output the final content of our cache so for the first index we are uh, tag is zero, zero 01 uh, so our z index 0 la and then our index 1 is tag is zero, zero, 0 and index 2 is zero, zero, 0 so what we what is loaded here is block 4 block 1 block 2 this is correspond to so for this one uh, if we convert it to decimal we can find that it is actually 16 17 18 and 19 and then for this one if we we can find it to be 4 5 6 7 and then this one is 8 9 10 11 so now we can look at the statistics here so there's a 30 38% hit rate and then a 63% hit uh, miss rate so and then we can see which are the instruction that is hit or miss so miss hit miss miss hit miss miss so there are actually six in total there are 16 instruction and then there are six hits so 6 over 16 is equals to 37.5 and then run up to 38 percent so this is for the method of a direct map cache